Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold the resolve if you're coming across an issue where you're getting no wireless connections available and the WLAN auto config cannot start. So I'm going to go through a couple of potential workarounds for this issue and hopefully one of them will be able to resolve your problem. First thing I would personally suggest would be to go over to your router and just unplug it from the wall for 30 seconds or if there's a reset button on the router itself try clicking on that and let the router reset. I've noticed that some of us can have some good results. Now if you are still experiencing a problem, so again after you've done that, I would suggest restarting your computer as well. Some believe it or not that actually has good results as well. And if you are still experiencing a problem, another thing we can try would be to go ahead and open up the start menu. So just left click on the start button one time. Type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager right above control panel. Just left click on that option one time to open up the device manager. And you want to go expand the network adapter section. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. There might be multiple network adapters in here. Hopefully in your case there's only one or two. Preferably there's only one, but you can see they have a lot of mini ports in here. But there's clearly one that says network connection that stands out. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and then left click on uninstall device, left click on uninstall. You will have to restart your computer at this point and then once you restart your computer it should automatically be able to reinstall the wireless adapter drive. So and as an additional precaution if you want to go online before you do that and download the driver software for that see if there's any updates available you're welcome to do that as well. But generally speaking if you restart your computer it should automatically reinstall the network adapters. So pretty straightforward process here guys do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.